Well, hello friends, Mark Holmes here, and as always, I want to thank you all for watching, commenting, subscribing, and being part of the Joe Boo Sports Report without you guys, as well as you ladies, you know that this literally does not work. All right, so today is cut down day. That's right, teams have to cut down to 80 players. So we, they, they've changed it from last year. Last year, because of COVID, they actually had reduced the amount of players in training camp, but they did one cut. This year, we had our first cut last week from 90 to 85 to this week having cuts going down to 80. Now, the interesting thing is because of players that are on COVID, that if you're on COVID, you're not counting against the 85-man roster. Thus, the Dallas Cowboys, because Joseph, uh, why do I keep saying Joseph Hooker? He was not in the Civil War. Malik Hooker, okay? Forgive me, okay? I get stuck on things and it just happens, okay? Forgive me. I do make mistakes. I am not perfect by any stretch of the imagination. Malik Hooker, C.D. Lamb, you know, that guy that Philly 500 really wanted, as well as Carlos Watkins and um, Israel, and I'm not even going to try and pronounce his last name, okay? Because those four players are in COVID protocol somewhere in the mix there, the Cowboys only had to cut one. And the cuts had to come by 4 o'clock Eastern. Well, it's 425 Eastern right now. And the Cowboys have announced, and this is where football is such, oh, God, there is no guarantees in football. Uh, cooker, I, I can't, uh, the kicker, cooker, kicker. Look, I, I, did I really say cooker? Kicker and hooker? I, what, what the? What the hell is wrong with me? Uh, it's not like they, I mean, they gave me Novocaine, but they didn't give me laughing gas. Maybe they should have given me laughing gas. The kicker who was in the uh, Canadian Football League, I'm not even going to try and butcher up his name. We signed him last week. He's cut this week because Greg Zerline will be actually back. Greg Zerline will actually be kicking this weekend, which is at least, uh, whoosh, we actually have a kicker uh, coming back actually from back surgery. And this reminds me of a story that Ainsley Battles, Ainsley Battle played actually for the Jacksonville Jaguars. And guys, we dodged a bullet by not signing uh, Urban Myers. Oh my God. Urban My oh my God. It, that, that already has disaster written all over it. Urban Myers, it just looks like, he, he looks like a deer caught in the headlights. He's just like, why did I leave? Why did I come here? And you remember, uh, I'll, I'll talk about Urban Meyer later. But anyway, uh, their first round draft pick is gone for the season too. He got injured last night, um, and, and and literally their starting offense has scored three points all, three points, three points. That's it. Um, they, they've gotten all their points, thirty one of them in in the fourth quarter. But be that as it may, um, I had a point here. Oh, Ainsley Battles. That's right, Ainsley Battles was talking about how crazy it is in the NFL. You know, we all dream, oh, I want to be a professional football player. Yeah, but you have to understand that there's no guarantees. He was telling a story about a football player who literally got cut and re-signed eight times in one season. It got so bad, you know, because they have the Turk come down and say, coach wants to see you, bring your playbook. You know that your ass is getting cut. They forgot to remind him. They, they, they got so used to cutting him every week, they just automatically assumed that he knew he was getting cut this week. So he's sitting down at what he thought was his locker, and he's putting on his shoes. And it was like, they don't fit right. What the hell? Then this other dude walks up and says, yo, dude, what are you doing in my locker? And he looks up, and he realizes the name has changed on the locker. They forgot to notify him. And hence, this is the story with a lot of football players. You know, a lot of these guys that are going to get cut, they're going to get signed by somebody and get cut and signed again and cut. And the reality of football is it's a mother humping business to be in. And a lot of times these guys will get signed. They get hurt. And then they get cut. Which means they're not getting re-signed by somebody else because they got hurt and they got cut. So, that's where we are. The Dallas Cowboys are cut down technically to 80-man roster, but they really have 84. And uh, I got to go take care of some stuff. I hope you guys tune in tonight, 945. 945, we'll be having our Hard Knocks watch party. 
appreciate each and every one of you guys. And I will see you soon.